Oh, I opened the door. Well, well let me ask you a question. Well, who opened the door for you? How you got your ass in the house? Somebody had to open the door for you. That's he it. said, I. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. That, he said a part of. That's not what right. he said. That's what you said. Let's take him. No, no, no. I don't want you to add anything. I don't want you to take anything out. Yeah. Let's take him at what he said. I don't understand what he was hoping to accomplish by saying what he said. He opened doors. Huh? No, it was the guy that came before you that had success that opened doors for you. It was the Randall Cunninghams. It was the Michael Vicks. It was the Steve McNair. Mm -hmm. It was the Dante Culpepper's, the Donovan McNabs. But bro, you got you got to stop this. You ain't open no doors because somebody the door was open. You walked in the door that somebody left open for you. Shannon Sharp destroys Russell Wilson for saying he opened the doors for black quarterbacks. I want you to check out exactly what Shannon Sharp had to say, and then I'll come back with my comments. Russell Wilson says he opened doors for black quarterbacks. So, so what role did Doug Williams play? Yeah. The first African American quarterback to right. actually to, to get to win and win the Super Bowl, win Super Bowl and yeah. win the MVP. So yeah. what about Shaq Harris? Mm-hmm. What about Joe Gilliam? Mm -hmm. So what did Marlon Briscoe do? Right. Shaq Harris. So, so what about Steve McNair? They opened no doors. Donovan McNair, Michael Vick. So they opened no doors. It was mm -hmm. you. I think, you know what? He is a part of it. He is a part of it, especially in the, modern, in the modern day era of the game of football. You know, you got to think we got people in the chat. Some people, we have a young For generation. me to, hold on, Joe, let me, let me, I don't want to cut you off. For okay. me to be able to go to back to back Super Bowls and win one of them, I think I opened up a lot of doors. You, you have to he said, I. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. That is, he said a part of. That's not what right. he said. That's what you said. Let's take him. No, no, no. I don't want you to add anything. I don't want you to take anything out. Yeah. Let's take him at what he said. Yes, sir. Oh, I create. Hey, when I talk nightcap, I created this Ocho. Hey, hey, you ain't got no part of this Ocho. I, mm -hmm. I did this with nightcap. Huh? Hey, he, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. I mean, so what, he, he, he could have so said what, we. He could, he could have said we in that case as far as the team that he was a part of. I'm just trying to well, help, help you out. So what role did Doug Williams play? What role did that play? I, I, I think more so for, for Russell's sake, he was speaking in, in behalf of the modern day era, younger kids, younger generation, that, the generation that probably won't know about the Doug Williams or the other individuals that the Steve McNair's and the other the other quarterbacks that you named that were black that, that have won. The kids in today's era might not recognize or know about them. So I, in, in a sense, I think Russell Wilson would be, would be speaking on behalf of his era and the era of younger generation kids that are playing right now as far as the doors that he opened from the quarterback position. See, that's the problem with society right now, especially yes, these sir. young. Right. Just because you don't know it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Right. Just right, because right. just because people don't know about Doug Williams or mm -hmm. Shaq Harris or Marlon mm -hmm. Briscoe or mm -hmm. Jefferson Street Joe, Shaq Harris. Right. Uh, uh, Steve McNair, Nair, Randall yeah. Cunningham. That right. doesn't mean they didn't exist. And, and everybody you just named. Think about this. Everybody you just named. If you were to ask a, a kid in high school right now, ask him about those names. They, they probably wouldn't know. They probably they, they probably wouldn't know because they don't know the history of the game and how far they know how far back it goes. But to be able to name some of the players like you just did, it wouldn't resonate with them. But okay. those that will read this, read this article that Russell Wilson, they will understand and know who Russell Wilson is because it's a little bit more relatable to the younger generation, the generation that's playing right now and the generation that will come after. So I, yeah. I understand what he's saying, but you are right. You are right. You know, you have to you have to get credit. Where credit is due for those that paid yes. the before you before you came and did the same thing you did based on what you're talking about. But I really think he's addressing those of the younger generation today that have no idea who the Randall Cunningham, Randall Cunningham's were, the Steve McNair's. You know. Oh, I forgot they, about. They, what they the were hell great. Are, what are we thinking about? We forgot Warren Moon. Oh, I forgot about Moon. I forgot about Warren. I forgot about Warren. Yeah, he's right. Who, right. who still throws one of the, the prettiest deep balls ever. Balls, yeah. Actually, really. matter of fact, I went to the Pro Bowl with Warren Moon also, but y'all think yeah. I had to mention him. Oh, Joe, mm -hmm. it was Doug Williams. Mm -hmm. It was Doug getting to and winning right. the Super Bowl that changed a lot. Like, okay, they can do it. Mm -hmm. They can process information fast. Yeah, they they, they can, can play the quarterback think on their position. Feet. Yeah. They don't have to be mobile. Doug Williams was a prototypical drop back quarterback. Back quarterback Show yeah. us Sha uh, uh, Shaq Harris. Now, Marlon mm -hmm. Briscoe run around. He was for Denver Broncos. Mm -hmm. He ran around and a lot of others. Randall Cunningham legs. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Warren was a drop back passer. passer. Uh, we forgot about Dante Culpepper. Pep. I forgot about Pep. McNair. Most, most black quarterbacks were mobile and they were thought of as mobile. Mm -hmm. they, there are a lot of guys that probably could have, but how many guys that played quarterback got moved to running back? Wide receiver. receiver. Qu uh, 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 DB. Mm-hmm. Hell, they still to this day, they still trying to do it. Hell, they tried to do it. Lamar coming out into the draft. Why don't you come out here and, and run the 40 and run some? Antoine Randall. Yeah. Ah. 
Randall Lowe was Randall Lowe. Randall the wide receiver from Tampa. From Indiana. Yeah, Randall Lowe with the Indiana, but there's a wide receiver, yeah. I think, that ended up, he ended up trans, he uh, 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 switched positions. Cordell Stewart, Stu B. Yeah, school, Stu. Vince yeah. Young. So, well, so what about Vince Young? Rookie of the year. That's all yeah. I'm saying, Ocho. Look, I, mean, I, I don't mind giving, I don't mind giving people credit. Right. But this, but we got to stop thinking like, well, I didn't know that. Just because you don't know something right. doesn't mean it didn't happen. But and I, we I, do I think, a lot of that with history, Ocho. Well, right. I didn't know Michael Jackson sold that many records. I didn't mm -hmm. know Aretha Franklin was this good. I didn't know. Just because mm -hmm. you don't know it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Yeah, we got. We also got to stay within the context of what he was talking about. He talk. He did talk about winning a winning Super Bowls. So Doug Williams won a Super Bowl, and was Super Bowl MVP, what, and was, was the first round draft pick. Right. So what? Yeah. So what? So what's he saying again? Just, just you didn't, who, didn't, who was the who was the second man to go to the moon? Only people remember Neil Armstrong. Who was the second man to break the sub four minute mile? They only remember Roger Bannister. Yeah. So who's the first man to run a sub nine seven hundred meters? They're only going to remember the Usain Bolt. Who's the first man to go nine six? So mm -hmm. unless somebody goes sub nine five, it's not going to matter. Right. Oh, so you know how this thing works? Yeah, yeah. It's always been that way. Always been that way. Yeah, most. That's definitely. why. What What the receivers want to do, Ocho? They want to be the first to get that two K. Mm -hmm. Cause it don't matter. You can have ten guys. OJ, OJ. Even though Ed has the record twenty one oh five. Yeah. People go back to OJ because OJ was the first. They thought it was. They thought no one could do it. Mm -hmm. Not in a fourteen game season. Easy, right? Two thousand. Yeah, that's a lot of running there, boy. That's a lot of running. Oh, so, I just, I, I just don't, I don't understand what he was hoping to accomplish by saying what he said. He opened doors, huh? No, it was the guy that came before you that had success that opened doors for you. It was the Randall Cunninghams. It was the Michael Vicks. It was the Steve McNairs. Mm -hmm. It was the Dante Culpepper's, the Donovan McNabs. It was, uh, we just talked about Doug. I know Doug very well. Doug went to an HBC, went to Grand mm -hmm. State. So I know Doug yep, the very Grammy. well. Talk yeah. to him. Shaq Harris was with me. Shaq Harris, Rams. I was, he was with me in Baltimore. Marlon Briscoe was in Denver. Jefferson Street Joe. They opened the door for you. Mm -hmm. It was yep. them. Yeah, I think. I mean, I mean, opposed. I mean, obviously, it was. It was a. It was not a video, but a you know interview about how he about how he feels about opening some of the doors based on what he's accomplished and what he's done as a quarterback. I think he could have been a little bit more in depth, went in, went in a little bit more depth about it about those that you know opened the doors for him as well. You know, I, he just didn't get into into all of that. But I I kind of see where he's going. And and for me, you no know, Russell. Forget the football player. For me, as an individual, he's an inspiration. But one, as a father, as a family man, seeing mm -hmm. some of the things that he does away from the game of football are very inspiring. You know, and I'm, listen, I, I, I'm not even ashamed to do it. I'm one that picks up from everybody in the way they yeah. move, in the way they operate away from the game of football, because I can always be better in many different facets of my life. And I, I can always pick up from little things that others do. And Russell is one of those that I do find inspiring in other ways where I can improve myself as well. Oh, I opened the door. Well, well let me ask you a question. Well, who opened the door for you? How you got your ass in the house? Somebody had to open the door for you? Russ, you've had an unbelievable career thus far, and I believe you'll continue, and I hope you're the best. I hope you can get back to what you were in Seattle for Pittsburgh. Yeah. But, bro, you got you got to stop this. You ain't open no doors because somebody the door was open. Before you walked in the door that somebody left open for you. Shannon Sharp didn't like those Russell Wilson comments saying that he opened the door for black quarterbacks. Shannon Sharp main thing is let's not forget about our pioneers, the Warren Moons, the Cunninghams, the McNabs, the Michael Vicks. You got a lot of quarterbacks out there before Russell Wilson that paved the way for black quarterbacks. So for Russell Wilson to say that he opened the doors, Shannon Sharp took that a certain way. Now I didn't see Russell Wilson's full comments, just that excerpt that uh of Shannon Sharp read, but I don't know if he was saying maybe for this era he opened the doors, or did he just mean that I'm the quarterback you think of as far as a black quarterback that opened the doors for other black QBs? But again, Russell Wilson he may have overspoke sometimes when you're caught up in the moment, you're living in this moment, you forget about the pioneers before you. But again, you can't forget about Michael Vick as far as my era of the last 15, 20 years. When you think about black quarterbacks, you're thinking about the Michael Vicks, the Mick Nash. 
Mavs. Like that's my era. Then if you go back the Warren Moons, the Cunninghams, the Cole Peppers. So you got a lot of solid black quarterbacks over the last 30 plus years that paved the way. Again, Russell Wilson, he's in his zone right now. He's on the Steelers. He may not be thinking back 20 and 30 years. So I'm not going to totally go off on him, but I hear where Shannon Sharp is coming from. An NFL historian, a Hall of Famer, gold jacket, three-time Super Bowl champion. So he knows his history. He came up in that era in the late 80s, early 90s. So he really remembers those quarterbacks and live play. But you know, Shannon Sharp, he's going to be hard on Russell Wilson just because his time in Denver didn't go well. Shannon Sharp made his legacy in Denver, so he feels a certain way about Russell Wilson. He has set up for Russell Wilson before with Deshaun Payton and that disaster with Russell Wilson in Denver. But again, he's going to have some things to say about Russell Wilson if he makes headline news. But it is what it is, though, man. Shout out to Russell Wilson. Hopefully he does some great things in Pittsburgh. Got a solid defense. Got some solid wide receivers out there. Hopefully he can have a solid, you know, two or three years left as a starter. He still is capable of being an elite star. So he should have some success with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like, subscribe, comment. What do you think about Russell Wilson's comments saying that he opened the door for black quarterbacks? I want to know your thoughts about this. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.